On today's video, a quick tip to help you guys catch more trout on your favorite spinners. Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And you know, all I'm talking about here is taking your favorite trout spinner, popping the treble hook off, adding a split ring, and then adding a longer shanked single hook to that split ring, and threading a worm on it. Now, I usually use a slow death hook for the hooks that I put on these, and there's a couple reasons. One Certain brands of slow death hooks come with the bigger eyelet, which makes them easier to get on the split ring. And then second of all, the slow death hook just gives that worm just a little bit of wiggle as it's being pulled through the water. Now I know a lot of you guys are saying, why would I want to bother putting this hook on there, going to all the trouble of threading this worm on there? I catch all kinds of trout with, with spinners right out of the package. I don't doctor them up or anything. And, and I get what you're saying, okay? I, I understand what you're saying. And if you fish turbulent water, this probably isn't that big a deal. It probably doesn't matter that much, okay? But if you fish slow water, I think it really will help you put a few more fish in the net. And I say this because, you know, I've noticed over the years, you know, even uh, thinking back to when I was a little kid pitching spinners uh, for trout in slower moving water, you'd get a lot of follow-ups. You know, a lot of follow-ups that would never even hit your spinner. Or if they would hit your spinner, they'd kind of come up and they'd peck it and turn and peel off. And, and a lot of times you're not hooking these fish. They just didn't seem like they were fully committed to trying to eat that spinner. And, and especially so in the slower moving water. And that's where adding that worm to the back of the spinner gives it more of that look, smell, and taste of something that they would normally eat. You know, it's the same principle with walleyes and crawler harnesses. That spinner attracts the fish from a distance away, and as the fish gets closer and closer, maybe that spinner looks less and less like something they would normally eat, but then boom, there's that crawler, and it smells right, and it tastes right, and it looks right, and oftentimes that's what seals the deal. Well, it's the same thing when you're adding that worm to the back of your trout spinners. Now, like I said earlier, if you guys are fishing turbulent water, you know, adding the worm to the back of your spinner might not matter that much, right? Trout that live in turbulent water, they have a lot less time to make decisions. They just can't see as well in that turbulent water. And I think they can be fooled a little easier. But if you do fish some of that slower moving water for trout, okay. Give the worm on the back of a spinner a try. I really do think it'll help you put a few more fish in the net. And as you can probably hear, I wish some of these trout uh, would come eat some of the crickets in my studio, right? Yeah. Anyways, hey, guys, remember to hunt the fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.